Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's a GCSE or A level video and in this video I want to show you how to use your calculator effectively and in particular to solve quadratic equations. So uh, what we're going to be able to do, I want you to be able to check your answers to quadratic equations or to a quadratic equation using your calculator. Now in this series I'm always going to be dealing with the Casio calculator and it's FX991ES, uh, okay, because I find it the most useful for higher level GCSE or A level. So let's show you how to do it. Imagine we're asked to solve the following, giving our answers to two significant figures 4x squared subtract 6x subtract 9 is 0. Now there are different ways to solve a quadratic, but you'd probably be thinking because it says significant figures, let's use the quadratic formula. And the first step of the quadratic formula would be to state your coefficients. A in this case is clearly 4. B in this case is clearly negative 6. And C in this case is clearly negative 9. And we would substitute our A, B and C into here to get two values of x. However, so we should go ahead and do that. But in the exam, you want to check your right. So you get your calculator out and you can press this button here okay for mode and then we're solving an equation so press 5 there's linear there's a linear with uh, three unknowns in it and then there's a quadratic number three so we'll choose that our a is four we press equals our b is negative six don't use subtract six it's got to be negative six and c is negative nine we press equals, and there's one of our answers, which if we decimalize by pressing the SD button there, we get ourselves one of the answers is 2.427, which to two significant figures is 2.4. So we can write x equals 2.4 is one of our answers. And the other answer, we just press equals again, and uh, to two significant figures, x is negative 0.93. So x is now going to be negative 0.93. And there we are, we've used our calculator to check our answers. Now I'm not saying do the question like this, in particular in the GCSE, you must show your working, so show working. Okay, however, this, uh, the calculator, okay, is for checking answers and checking you just haven't made small errors. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Example two, similar thing, a quadratic equation because we've got an x squared term. Got to be careful here. It's very important you realize that the, the a term, the number in front of the x squared is actually negative two. Okay, the number in front of x is actually positive six and the number term is actually equal to seven. So there's our A, B, and C. We plug that into the quadratic formula and get our answers. And then we check at the end. So this is our check. Be careful, it's not the way you do it. It's your check method. So your check method here, you would go mode, equation, quadratic, and your A is negative two, your B is six, and your C is seven. Press equals. And there's one of your answers. It asks to give it as an exact third. So we can actually just write that x is equal to um, 3 plus root 23 over 2. So 3 plus root 23 divided by 2. There's one of your answers. Press equal for the other and it's 3 subtract root 23 over 2. So x is 3 subtract root 23 over 2. And we were asked to give it in third form. Obviously, if we want to decimalize it, we press that button and press it back to get to thirds. And we're done. That's using the calculator effectively to check your answers. Just to make sure that you can do it yourself, here's one question for you, and I'll put the answers up in 10 seconds. And here we go. You have 10 seconds, and I'll put the answer up. And here's the answer. 
x is 2.3 and x is negative 0.59. Just to reiterate one last time, this is just a check method in the exam. You must show you're working to actually get there, but it's handy to be able to know you've done it correctly. Thanks loads for watching. Tune in for another video.